welcome back to my channel guys this is me s1 and uh, i'm sorry i've not done a video lately i've had covid so i've just not had the energy or the ability to get out of bed and come and do any work at all so it's been uh, bugging me but now i'm better i'll put some primer on me s1 now and uh as i've said before this is over a 10 year project get gathering original parts for the car so I've got like original bonnet here as well. Really lightweight bonnet. Back in, back in the day, Group B was trying to achieve lightweight uh, cars. You know, to try and take over the F1. Panels made out of super lightweight Kevlar, honeycombed. They don't make these today like this. This is absolutely so light. These are called super light panels. Same with the bonnet as well. This is a replica door that I've got here. Well, I've got an original door on the other, for the other side, but this is a really good quality Kevlar door. This is from Germany. I bought this about 10 years ago and I told him exactly how I wanted it made. And uh, he made it exactly the same as an original door. This one is also very light as well. Not quite as light as an original door, but it's not far off. We've had some other panels before and uh, they weigh absolute way a ton. Um, but this one here, I'm trying to achieve the exactly the same weight as an original car. So if I can get it down to 950 kilograms on the way bridge when it's all done, then I've actually achieved it. Again, with the rear quarter panels, they're original. Again, the yellow Kevlar, super lightweight, weighing 1.9 kilograms, 1.8 kilograms for thereabouts. So you can imagine the panels are just basically a cover up. It's don't actually weigh nothing. It's just to cover the actual chassis and create the aerodyna aerodynamics for the, uh, especially for the Group B on the Thousand Lakes when they're taking off those jumps with Hanny Mickler launching off those jumps. And I spoke to Arnie Hertz about it. And I said, to, uh, uh, I said to Arnie, I said, um, so what was going through your mind when you was ready to take off for the Thousand Lakes? And he says he didn't have time to think about the jumps. He was just head down, pace notes. He didn't even have time to think about it with the flying fin next to him, taking off of those jumps. Rest in peace, my man. I'll say it again, rest in peace. So this... Uh, S1 will be Hanny Mickler's replica of the 1986 Monte Carlo car, what came third that year. And uh, this, is, this is going to be identical to that car. This is, this is not a replica. This is a full on blueprint copy of an original car. The engine, running gear, wheels, dashboard, seats, everything. Everything is an original, original through my journey that I've found over the last 10 years. So I'm really looking forward to it. And this is an original front front bumper, S1. Lightweight Kevlar again. This is more rigid, but actually it's lighter than replica parts built today. So this, this door was to get access to the turbo, the air box, clearing leaves out of it, changing the filter, getting water out of it. Some had a door in the middle so I opened up to so they could get to the intercooler to, again to pull all the leaves out whilst there was uh, at the at the at the uh, pits pulling it out so the mechanics could quickly whip the front off and pull all the leaves out back panel as you can see I've stopped it all up now ready to flat it down and guide coat it all up so we'll do that in a second and here you'll see original rear quarter panels they all have this from factory, this, this part here. If you look detailed on factory cars before they've had quarter panels changed, this is how they came out the factory like this. I've done my homework on these cars through and through. My man, Frederick in Norway, just want to say thank you again for these panels and the other parts that I've bought off you as well to create this car, to make this dream come true. The 
extra vent there to cool the driver down. That vent there is to cool the gearbox down as well. So it goes straight through there, inside the, inside the car, through the firewall, into the gearbox. So we'll get it guy coated up now, guys. And uh, I can start flattening it down, ready for paint. I feel a lot better today. I don't have COVID. I'm testing negative now. I'm sure you guys have had that as well and you know exactly how it feels. So we're gonna start guy coating this up now. And that tells us where we're going, where we're flattening. You can get a powder one, but I like the old school way. A good old bit of uh, dust, dusting a bit of satin black over it all. You really see where you're going with it when you're sanding it down. got original windows for this car as well two mil two mil glass again that extra two mil um, less to carry with weight it all helps to the making the car lightweight today they're four mil so that you can imagine extra two mil off the glass it takes that weight off even more I've got original back window with the Kevlar opening doors with the original hinges as well so I'm gonna get this guy coated up guys I'll speak to you on the next video. So this is signed by Arnie Hertz, the co-driver of Hanny Mikola. And uh, I'm gonna keep this signature on there. It's gonna be a little bit tricky to keep it on there, but I will do my best. So I'll keep it on the gray. I'll just, what I'll have to do is um, lightly flat this back with some 1200 and key this in lightly as much as I can with some gray scotch. And as I'm basing up the white, I'll have to mass that off and just keep the white dust dust the white base coat around it gently and then build it up as we go got to keep that i've got the matter sun visors original matter sun visors signed by hanny mickler and arnie hertz in the car as well and i've got arnie to sign hanny mickler's original steering wheel in the car so when it's all painted and we start building it up we can get onto those stages of those videos so hit the like subscribe button and more of these videos will come. Check out motorsportingclassics.com. This is gonna be a very, very interesting Audi Quattro build. And uh, I'd like for you to you follow the, my videos as we do this. Hit the like button, subscribe button, guys. More videos will come. Bye for now.